Bryn here from BWS TT. Today we're going to be doing a compression test on this 2 litre CDL engine. This is in a Mark II TTS on 156,000 miles. Now I've already done a cold compression test while I was changing these old spark plugs. These were Bosch Platinum ones. I've put some Iridium spark plugs in. Uh, so I did a cold compression test. Let's have a look at the old spark plugs and the results of that now while this engine gets up to temperature and then we can do a hot compression test. So the important thing is to always use a decent quality compression tester. You're going to need one that gives consistent readings because we're hoping to find consistent readings. Let's start with cylinder one. Twelve point eight bar. Twelve point one. Well, about the same as cylinder two was. And another 12. So we've got our readings, but what do they mean? Well, a healthy engine, when it has a hot compression test on these, should be getting 180 to 200 PSI. I got in the 172 to 182 range, and I would say the engine was quite hot it wasn't at full operating temperature because i hadn't been taking it for a drive so it wasn't under load it wasn't getting really hot cylinder temps i was able to handle the spark plugs so maybe uh, if i was to do the same again after taking it for a spirited drive i would get slightly higher results but that puts me on the lower end of healthy slightly off the scale of what is ideal on these however i'm within 10 percent across all four cylinders and i'm well above the uh the the tolerance for these which i think is in the like the 140 something psi range so yeah still perfectly fine engine and at 156,000 miles those results do not surprise me um what that does mean though is that when it comes to my approach to tuning this engine i'm not going to be trying to push this for its absolute best um, you know, you can get close to 400 horsepower out of these on the standard turbo with all the hardware modifications done to accompany that. Uh, if you go with an anti-surge core, um, and then if you go with a hybrid, you can be pushing, you know, 430 brake horsepower on these engines without having to do anything internals to them. But with me having less compression uh, and an and a older worn out engine, I don't think it's wise for me to be taking that approach to the tuning. I think it's going to be better if I just take a realistic approach and just be happy in the mid 300 horsepower range, 340, 350, 360 horsepower, somewhere in that region with the torque that goes along with that. This is going to be a very, very fun car. Anyway, I hope that's been interesting for you. Uh, just seeing how we do a compression test on these. I'm going to pop the spark plugs back in and then uh, I think I'm going to give it a wash. But anyway, until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers, guys.